Hi, Wayne. It's Heidi and Chris. Hi, Wayne. How are you? Hi, Wayne. <laughs> we thought we'd take a few minutes and do a demonstration for you of Eno. I know you've seen it before, but Chris wanted to do an in-depth uh, demonstration for you so you can share this with your coaches and right. other staff at Gardner-Webb University. Yeah, thanks, Wayne. As you know, Eno uh, can be used as a static marker board with, um, with uh, traditional um, marker board um, dry erase pens, but um, the power of this product really comes into play when you are trying to collaborate and work together. So we've got the Eno board, and when you know that it uses Bluetooth technology, and um, the stylus that I have in my hand can do a couple different things. It can act as a mouse to advance a PowerPoint display very easily, or by use of this magnetic command strip, I can turn this from a mouse into a pen very easily and you can see how it uses the electronic ink. Now, there are different sizes of um, pens that you can incorporate into this. There's a uh, the thick ink that you see here. There's a, uh, a thinner ink. And then there's a very fine ink. So depending on what you need to do with that. And then <laughs> on the command strip, there's a small eraser, large eraser, or erase all. So with the small eraser, I could erase um, very fine portions of what I drew, or just hit erase all, and it'll go away. So that's uh, one thing that we, we thought was uh, pretty powerful about this. Now, if I want to get out of the PowerPoint presentation mode, um, I put it back into the mouse mode and bring up the keyboard tray that allows me to surf the web and just hit escape, and I can very easily cancel out of presentation mode. But we, what we wanted to show you today was a, um, uh, a function of the tool that allows us to very easily uh, turn this into a, um, a marker board that, that can uh, easily help coaches to draw up plays, create plays, And the electronic ink allows you to change colors. And you can change the style of the pen from a solid pen to a dotted line pen, allowing players to know exactly where they need to go. And I wanted that to be black. So I'm gonna take my small eraser and erase that. and then pull up a black pen so those players know where to go. So if this receiver is going out here, quarterback knows to look to that player. And so you can very easily generate plays. As soon as I hit the save button, I don't know if you can zoom in on that, Heidi. When I hit that save button, it will capture that as a PDF and we'll email that to you. Um, and you can send that off the team if you need to. Uh, the other um, powerful uh, part of this is the ability to um, pull up video. Well, that's, that's pulling up a web page. Let's pull up some video and take a look at some game film. And in this type of uh, setup, because this is now a mouse, I can control the game film video from my um, from a stand-up location with this mouse, I can fast forward, rewind video as I need to. But I we've been able to position this with other athletic departments by very easily allowing them to get teams together, take a look at um, where where players are. Let me turn this back into a pen and allow them to assign, take a look at coverages, take a look at the defenses, and pull up a larger pen. So this, this player knows exactly where they need to go. 
this player knows he needs to focus on this player. And again, I can very easily save this and save it as a PDF and then email it off to uh, whoever we need to. But again, having the ability to um, run video right from a stand-up position and not have to uh, uh, mess with it, start and stop it as I, as I need to or rewind it as I need to. So that, that's one capability that we thought was pretty powerful. Again, the ability to pull up a website, um, click on any game that you needed to, uh, make any comments about uh, what's done on the website. This player's a great guy. Save that if I need to, or erase it. So we'll get out of the, uh, the website and pull up a couple of the, the settings that we've created for these types of environments. One of the um, types of environments that we have around our Mediascape is this collaborative room set up that can host very easily um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven pe people on the side of the each side of the ball. Well, let me erase that. So eleven, and then a coach to be able to review game film right here. And again, you, you can use it with the Mediascape or without the Mediascape table. And what that Mediascape table looks like is something like that. So just a collaborative type of space for a team room, technology that allows coaches and players to connect, draw up plays, create plays, review plays, and uh, I'll shoot you some of those PDFs of the things that we captured. Thanks for your time today, Wayne.